Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video I'm going to be talking about, well, Superman. But before I get into it, please be sure to subscribe to the channel, hit that like button if you like this video, and ring the bell icon to be notified when we post new videos. Anyway, let's get into it. So recently I've been seeing a lot of news updates regarding Henry Cavill as, you know, possibly returning as Superman. Maybe not, who knows? Personally, I'm hoping he does. And if he does, I'm hoping that they can really do capture the original essence of Superman. And by that I mean who he was as a person. And also, the simple aspects of him being heroic, intelligent, uh, intelligent, and just inspiring to others. One of the things I grew up with when I was, a, you know, a kid and teenager and, and so on, and, well, last week, <laughs> whenever I was, whenever I'd watch a Superman movie or read a Superman comic book, Back before 2015, before before the reboot of DC Comics, the first one. Before the reboots and everything, and all, all that culture happened, I used to watch Superman almost religiously. It was, it was just terrifying to think of at this moment. But I used to, I was obsessed with Superman comic books and, and Superman movies. I, I have everything that you could imagine in terms of Superman movies and comic books. It's like I have a bunch of reprints of comic books and I used to have a really good Superman comic book from when I was a kid. It belonged to my grandfather. At this moment, I wish I still had it. Anyway, when I was growing up, Superman was a symbol of hope. He was a symbol of altruism, the ability to do good in spite of all the bad in the world. He was inspiring. He defended the weak even though he was strong. He didn't try to oppress them. He didn't do anything beyond... What he, he did what was necessary to save the day, even if it meant giving his own life. Granted, I'm not a big fan of the whole death of Superman story arc, and I'm not good, I'm, I'm not good at, enjo like, I just cannot accept those storylines. It's, it's done to death, ironically. Um, but the, um, the entire aspect of Superman that I've seen replicated over and over again is the dark mentality of what if they perceive me as a god? Or what if they fear me? I can't do, like, I'm tired of this. I want to see Superman. I want to see him how he was. So in the Christopher Reeve movies, he was intelligent. He was wise. He was quick-witted. He was smart. He did, I mean, I, I said intelligent already. You get it. Anyway, he did more than just display strength. He displayed strength of character. Strength of, strength of will. The ability to overcome any challenge. And even whenever he lost his powers in Superman, I think it was part two, whenever he lost his powers or gave them up for Lois, in the end he embraced them again so that he could defend the world because he knew that without him the world would be in danger. <clears throat> in a world without Superman is something that people always try to depict a certain way, but they never depicted correctly, except for, like I said, in the Christopher Reeve movies, it was very well depicted. And granted, the movies are not perfect. They got a little shoddier as the time went on, but I'm still a fan of every single Superman movie that's ever come out. I'm a fan of the original George Reeves series as well, and the Superman and Lois series that came out recently. Granted, the Superman and Lois series that came out recently, it's not perfect. It has its flaws. What I don't like is the fact that the Superman in that series uh, Tyler Hoechlin. He's a good actor, but it's hard for me to visualize him as Superman. Especially once you've seen Henry Cavill on screen. You got Henry Cavill playing Superman, and it's just perfection. He's just the right build. He's just the right form, and I know that he could pr portray the character well. He's already portrayed the hopeful, altruistic character before when he played Theseus in the Immortals movie, and granted that movie wasn't perfect either, it had a lot of gore, and it was a little cheesy here and there, but that's kind of good. When it comes to Superman, you want to see that cheesiness, that altruism, the symbol of hope that he, that Superman is meant to be. He is more than a human in every sense of the word. He is more than a simple farm boy, even though he still is. Clark Kent may be who he is because of how he was raised, but Superman is what he can do and his purpose in life. And so that's what I'm hoping to see in a Superman movie. 
whenever I see anything revolving around Superman, I'm always eager to see what they're planning. And granted, while no one really truly knows what's coming ahead, what what days, what 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 the future has in store for us, what I do know is that Superman needs to be in the media more more prevalent in the media today. Whenever I see stuff like Batman being televised as this as the main part of DC, I just can't visualize that. When I see DC Comics, my first thought immediately goes, what's the next Superman project? Are they going to finally make a Superman video game? Now, I, I definitely got to segue into this topic because growing up, all I wanted was a really good Superman video game. As a kid, that's something that I really hoped for. There were a few here and there, and granted, they're not good that good either, but it's something I've always been starving for. <laughs> but when it comes to when it comes to the movies or the games and all that, when it comes to the video games, they always put so much focus on Batman and what could Batman do? <laughs> I'm Batman. <laughs> I mean, really, what's the point? Batman is always doing the same thing over and over again. He's always losing because of the fact that in the end, the villain always escapes. He always comes back. And Superman does similar things, but there's more respect. And the character, the characters that he faces off against, they're usually someone that you can't fix, someone that you cannot help. Whereas the Joker and all of them, Batman kind of created most of his villains. And he's kind of responsible for them, and they wouldn't exist if he didn't, if, for my opinion, he, they would not exist if it wasn't for Batman. Whereas with Superman, many of these characters, although I guess really the reality is, it's how it's been written, and it's that even throughout all time, for every new rise to, every new good that rises to power, there's always going to be a darkness that seeks to overcome it. So that's obviously something that needs to be in every story. But Batman's seems very, I don't know, just, it's just something that I don't think that's necessary to be repeated over and over again. Superman, however, the world needs that symbol of hope. He ne it needs to embrace that symbol again. And I, wanna, I really want to see a Superman video game. I want to see something open world, something vast where you can explore Metropolis and Smallville and other places in the world, maybe somewhere small for other maps, like other islands, different areas that he can that he can fight to, you know, protect, stop prison outbreaks, and stop different things. Just stop, I guess, just stop many different many different villains. I mean, you have Bruno Bruno Manheim, ah, Bruno Ugly Manheim, and you have Inner Game, and you have Apocalypse, and you have New Genesis characters, you have many different things that he can, many people he can meet, many people he can he can help. You have certain small quests that involve him helping Lois. And then you have big missions where you're actually having to save Lois from trouble. And then you have his adventures with Jimmy Olsen. And you have uh, Winslow Shot. You have other all these different villains. And then you have the possibility of a spinoff with Superboy. And you have a possibility with continuation that involves his interactions with Superboy. And then you have Supergirl who can show up maybe even in a second game. I, I don't know. I mean, I may be a little obsessed with Superman, but shouldn't everyone be? <laughs> anyway, I don't want to get too lost in the subject, but the fact is, I want to see Superman prevalent in media. He needs to be at the forefront. I think that if DC Comics wants to save itself from destruction or from further slipping into the darkness, I think they need to bring Superman to the forefront again. He is a symbol of hope. He is the, after all, he's the symbol of truth, justice, and the American way. You gotta have this in every project involving Superman. He can't be simply a bad guy again. Like using him as a bad guy is a stupid trope. I, I mean, I may that may be, be that may be uh, nah, that may be you know strong words when it comes to that. But actually, it's not strong words. I find it really stupid. It's not. Something that I want to see happen again. More stories with Superman being used as the villain is becoming tedious. 
I see it in mo- I see it in movies. I see it in comic books. I see it in video games that they've that a new one that's coming out too. The Suicide Squad, Kill the Justice League. I mean, seriously, it's too much. I'm hoping that they re- that they shift their focus back to the source material and they fix what's going on in that environment. Anyway, that's all I want to talk about for today. Please keep checking back for more videos, more updates, and if you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe, share with your friends, and ring that bell icon. And, well, that's all. Goodbye.